Hi, welcome back to Genuine Coder. This is the eighth video in the Java FX library software development series. And so far we have developed user interface and controller for adding book and member along with listing book and numbers. And in this video, we are going to design the main user interface for our application. I mean the launching screen. Today, uh, we are going to build something like this. This is my another library assistant application, library assistant software. So we are going to build this user interface today. So in our project, I am going to create another package in the UI section. So from the package, I am going to create a new package and let the name be UI.main. So I am going to create the new package and from that section, I am going to uh, right click on it and give add a new empty fxml file and here I'm going to give the name main then next of course I want a Java controller for main controller then yes next I will need a CSS file so that's it and I'm going to open this fxml files for beginning the design operation. So we got an angle pane, a symbol fxml file and let us start the design. So first I'm going to add a, instead of angle pane, I'm going to add a stack pane at first. So I'm going to add a stack pane. So that's fine. Then after that, I'm going to add a border pane for arranging elements at the five position. I mean, using border pane, you can align components in top, left, center, right, and bottom positions. So first, we need a menu. So for that, I am going to add a menu bar first. So at the top, I am going to add a menu. So that's looking fine. And in the menu section, uh, there are three menu items created. Let, uh, let us leave that for later and uh, we, uh, we need something more first I want to increase the size of tag pane again by a little bit so that's fine and in the left section or in the right section I want to add a toolbox for that I'm going to use a V box uh, so I'm going to add a V box in the right section so it's aligned there that too is looking good and uh, I need one more component which is a tap pane for giving the issue and return operation in the library management system. So tap pane in the center position. So we got this much components, a toolbox, a main uh, operation section, then the, tool, uh, the menu bar. So that's good. And in the tab pane or in the V box, I want to add some buttons. So I'm going to add some button. Let the button be the button. And I'm going, I'm sorry, I'm going to add that into the V box. So I got one button. I'm going to increase its size. So it will fit the width and the height can be considered later. So in the button, I'm going to give the name add member. And in order to make it look more better, I want to add a graphic to the button. A uh, little more specifically, I want to add an icon to the button. So for that, I'm going to load an image view and I'm going to paste that image view into the button. See, when I hover the uh, image view over the button, I'm getting an option for insert graphic. Now I want to decrease the size of the image view by a little bit. So I'm going to do that. And I am going to associate an image with the image view. So in the UI package, I have added a new folder called icons. And from the icon, I am going to select add member.png. So you will get a add member icon. I don't know if that is meaningful in this context, but I am setting an icon anyway. Then I'm going to select on this button not on the image view i'm going to select the button and in the select button there is an option for content display and in that i'm going to set it to top so the icon will be uh, moved to the top section of the text so that's good we got the option for add member and i'm going to duplicate this again so there's no duplicate option for image view instead for button we have duplicate option so i got one more and i need two more buttons so add member, then we have to go for add book. Then 
here I'm going to give view members then here I'm going to set view books so these are the four features that we have programmed uh, and uh, in, in add book I am going to change the image so I'm going to click on this and add book and here instead of view members I'm going to click on it and the image view I'm going to click on this and the list mem dot png so this is the one and here view book says here so I'm going to click on this view books and the list book so we got the images and we got the buttons right and in order to make this button fill the entire area you can increase its size in from the layout section before that I want to add one more button and that is for the settings we haven't programmed the settings section yet but in order to, for the sake of completion let's do that button also so here I'm going to add a new button called settings so in the image view section I'm going to this and selecting the settings.png and in order to make this button fill the entire available vbox area I'm going to select all these buttons then in the layout section I'm going to select the preferred height I'm going to something like 150 so now it is filling the entire available area and that's about the control section and here in the tab we have to change the name of the tab for that you can either change the name here just like we did here I'll, uh, else we can do that in the property section so in the text tab I'm going to give issue so here we will doing the book issue operation so book issue and here we are going to do the renew operation or book submission so renew or submission operation so that's great now just like we see uh, in the previous software we have to give an option for selecting the book for issue and selecting the member for issue and a button for issue operation for that first I'm going to add a V box into this angle pane I mean for each tab they have created an angle pane so in the issue panel I'm going to add an angle pane here and I'm going to right click on fit to parent so it will fit the entire available area inside that I want to add one more pane so I'm going to add one more angle pane or I can go for a simple v box uh, h box so I'm going to add an h box so h box is added then in that h box I'm going to add a text area or text field for entering the book ID so I'm going to add a book ID here so we got the book ID then I'm going to click in order to make this text field in the center I'm going to select the H box again and in, instead of using the top left I'm going to set it to center so it will now orient in the center of the H box once we add more component into the right it will be moved back to this position so for displaying the uh, information about the book that we give here I mean the book ID we give here we need one more pane and I, I am using a V box for displaying the information so I'm going to add a V box right here so we got the V box I'm going to increase the size of the V box just like this so that's fine and uh, in order to give some spacing I'm going to the layout section and in that I am to give some padding 20 in every direction so I'm going to give this now we need some text for text for displaying the book information so I'm going to give add one text here in the V box and for that I'm going to give the name book name so the name of the book will be displayed here so this is book name and I am going to match it with the available space like this and I am going to the property section again and setting the text alignment to the center so that will display the uh, book name and in this case also I am going to the way box and setting the alignment to center in order to make the components at the center so we got the book name and uh, after book name we need book author name so we can just duplicate this component using the duplicate option 
so that's fine and you can also add some padding in order to make it look better so i'm going to give 20 or maybe 10 10 okay 10 that's fine so we will get book name the and here we will get the book or the name order so that's great now book information is over we need one more H box like this for entering the uh, member information so I am going to click on the H box and make a duplicate of it so I got the H box and here is when the user enters the author uh, member name we have to display the member name here so this will be the member name holder and here we have to show his contact information and here I am going to give a prompt text which is enter book ID so here I'm going to give the prompt text enter member ID so we will get book ID and member ID from here and in the next section we have to add a button so I'm going to add a JFX button for material design look so let me copy and paste the button here I have pasted it right here and the <coughs> In order to give some, you know, to make this into center, let me add it to a V box or maybe a H box for horizontal. So I'm going to add one more H box into the V box. And inside that v H box, I'm going to add a JFX button. So that's it. And here, by clicking on the H box, I'm going to set the alignment to the center. And I'm going to give a JFX button a name for that is uh, issue. So we got the issue button and that's it. So that's about the book issue design. And the next thing that we have to do is to design the submission section. For that, add a border pane and I'm going to drag and drop it right here. And I'm going to click on the fit pattern option then for entering the book id for renewing the book i again need a j or i need a text field so i'm going to paste it here a text field and i don't want to have that much size so that's fine and for giving uh, a little padding i'm going to the layout section and entering 10 right there so it will be okay then here in the prompt text, I'm going to give the name Ender Book ID. So uh, we will get the Ender Book ID and for the material look, I'm using the label plot option. So that will be great. So that's it, we got the book ID and for displaying the information about the book and the book holder, we have to use a list view. So I'm going to add a list view here in the center section. I'm going to add a list view. And for the list view also, I want to give some padding and that will be using the layout section. And in the padding from the top, I need 10. From the left and right section, I need 20. That's fine. So that will be great. Okay, then uh, one more thing that I want is a H box for displaying two buttons so I'm going to add an H box in the bottom so insert bottom I'm adding an H box uh, that was in the one that was the global uh, angle pane so this is the one that we want so here we have to add two buttons one button for issue and uh, for renew and one button for submission so jfx button so first button this one can be used for a submission operation so i'm going to click on the h box and from the alignment from the properties alignment i'm going to set it to the center so i got a button here and i'm going to name it as renew so that can be used for renew purpose and one more button i need it so I'm going to add it here that is for submission so that's it we will do the CSS styling for this button in the later video so I think 
our user interface is complete i'm going to the view section and show sample data in order to have a look at the uh, user interface with the uh, certain data especially in the list view so as always thank you for watching this video in the upcoming video we will give event handlers and uh, give life to these buttons so thank you for watching